ladies right first of all um i just want to say the video that i've put up um the last video that i put up about the rack and i didn't know it was from um i just had the name k i've gone through my videos and i've now realized who it is it's kazikins one i should have realized really from the um from what she said um she's quite new to youtube that's why i didn't uh, and she hasn't put I don't think she's put her real name ever on a comment. So obviously I didn't know. If she'd have put Kazakins 1, then I'd have known who it was. Um, she's quite new to videos. She, I doubt she's new to YouTube. She's a very, very good crafter. And um, she's come over to me from from Fiona. I were right. I knew, I, I knew it from what she said on that uh, about the crocheting. Um, and she's got some videos up. And her work is really, really good really good so go over and have a look at her it's kaz k-a-z double e k-i-n-s kazikins one she's amazing and um, if you can't find her um she's on my subby list because i've subbed to her so um so that's who this is from um the rack so thank you okay <laughs> and now know who you are <laughs> so i do a gun hunt you down and i did um so yeah I have messaged her a, 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 a big thank you because, as I said, I didn't know who who it was from. So, um, that's that. Right. This is now a video response. <laughs> that's my video response voice. A video response to Ruth Bears. Uh, is it 100 subbers? Can't, but she must have more than that. I can't remember why she's doing challenge. <laughs> Not very good at advertising for people, am I? I'm sure it's a 100 subby challenge, but I can't see that she'd only have 100 subbies because she's amazing. So I might have got that wrong. Might be, might be something else. Oh, I can't think. I don't know, but it's an altered domino challenge anyway. <laughs> Sorry, Ruth. Um, so I think, yeah, I have to be a subber. So we'll go on over to Ruth Burr. She's on my featured channels list. Um, If you can't find her, it's Ruth... R U T H capital R and then B B U double R. She's an Australian crafter. She's an absolute darling. Really lovely. And she makes some amazing stuff. Really, really amazing stuff. Um and you've got to alter one in a shabby chic style and one in a vintage style. So um this is what I've done. Now I have started off with let me see if I can find one of the dominoes. That I'm using. I've got this cover and I've seen other ladies do it. It's quite clever because what you do is when your desk is like a complete trash like that, yeah, you just get a pretty cover and cover it up and it looks like you're dead clever. It looks like you're dead tidy and dead posh. Anyway, I can't find any. Oh, here's one. These are what I've used. That's how big my dominoes are, right? And they are da -da -da -da, Toy Story dominoes. I was told not to use this one because it's got Jessie on. So I wasn't allowed that one. I only allowed the ones that she said were rubbish ones with aliens on. So these are alien dominoes. Um, so yeah, I mean they're the same shape and they are plastic. They're not wooden. They're the right thickness. They just haven't got numbers on. They've got pictures on. Um, and um, they're quite, quite small. So I have struggled with this challenge, I'm telling you. Really struggled. Do you know what? I've just had a thought. I'm going to turn this card into a name, into a name thing. Um, for my channel. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Right, so, where are we? I'm like that. Cause like, I'm holding an iPad and then I'm looking at my hand through the iPad and it's not corresponding with where I'm going. Where am I? Yeah, right. So this is my vintage one. Um, You can't see, because, the, because it's so small... My image is very small, so it's quite difficult to see, but it's that French woman. What's her name? Um, what is her name? You know, French Revolution, Louis, is it, was she married to Louis? Marie Antoinette. <laughs> I couldn't think of a blooming name. I wouldn't mind, but I've got an history degree. <laughs> I've got a BA in history. Um, yeah, it's Marie Antoinette. So you can't get any more vintage. Um, and these little flowers here... Uh, from they were on part of the parcel that Irene sent me. They were actually wrapped around the um, uh, 
the paper parcel that she did from pattern paper with the rosette trim on and she just put some flowers on for decoration so I've used those and this is one that she sent me as well and this little flower here I think did she send me that or have I bought that no I bought that the other day because the other day I bought knowing I were doing um, Ruth's challenge I bought this this braid in because I knew it'd go down the side and um, some other little trim um, so I've just put this dangle on and that's one of Marie Antoinette's shoes that's come from uh, Irene as well and I put pearls round I just glued the image on with glossy accents and then I, I've put glossy accents in to make it smooth I'm still not very good at it I think it's something I'm just going to have to practice I don't seem to have any air bubbles there just seems to be a tiny smudge there I don't know why um, so yeah I did watch uh, oh, I watched an altered domino video is it Louisa Diaz or something like that is that a name I can't think of a name I don't know and it's quite a long video it's like 40 minutes or something I watched it and I watched it and paused it and watched it and paused it while we were cooking dinner the other day and really it, you, if you've not done an altered domino that is the best video because she shows you how to put loops on and for charms and stuff without drilling and she, she's just it's just an amazing tutorial like I say it's 40 minutes long but it's worth watching even if you watch it in two halves and um, so I, I've put this loop on to hang it that's like floral wire that I've put some beads on so it's sturdy and then I put a loop on with twisted wire and um, this is actually on like a you know a claw from a necklace fastened onto the loop and then just a little uh, chandelier dangle and then I just stuck one of Irene's little flowers on to hide the claw like I said that's uh, Marie Antoinette's shoe um, and then on the back um, I just stuck a little bit of um, a plique bridal a plique um, it's off of some of what um, Irene sent me just to cover the back and to cover where you know where you um, hot glue on these um, things to do your dangles with and your hooks with so there you go that's my vintage one so I hope you like that Ruth I hope it's vintage enough oops I think it's quite cute and then this is my shabby chic one um, now I have seen some at ladies uh, I've seen Blinders from Koala Crafters is amazing and I've seen Dwillis's is it Dwillis's? No, Jeanette's. And they were lovely. Um, mine aren't as good as that, but hey ho. Um, this is my shabby chic one. And it's a butterfly. Um, so, yeah, I got a uh, butterfly. And I cut the wings off it to separate them. And glued them on the back um, with a space. And then... Um, round the edge I've put this uh, pink pink diamanded trim I told you I would Ruth put pink on it <laughs> and I'm really impressed with this I'm just going to show you I got it from the pound shop the other day and what's good about it is let me see if I can do it without while I'm holding it's diamanded trim but look it's in a row they're attached with like little tiny threads so they're not separate they're attached and I found them in like the hair section of I don't know, we've got Pound Land, haven't we, and Pound World. It's the smaller it's the smaller one. Um, and they had purple, they had like a goldy colour, silver, and these. Now, I didn't realise that they were in rows like that. Had I realised, I would have got another packet. So, I think if I go to town next week, I will go back and I will get another packet of those. Because I think that's great. Um, so, yeah. Um, that obviously got stuck round the edge like that. And then I've just done a collection of flowers in the middle and um, this purple one again was on the package that um irene wrapped my black bridal applique in so i've used that uh, and then just some other little rose buddy type flowers and a few satin ones um i, I have put a very thin coat of um gesso on just to tone that purple down a little bit and i've 
put it a little bit on there as well just to make it a bit more within the shabby chic theme because I do tend to go off on one a bit and put a bit too much sparkles and a bit too much pink um, so to keep it to, so to bring it back into line for it being shabby chic uh, I put a bit of whitewash on it and then this is a lace, lace applique uh, not a lace applique it, it's just a chain of lace uh, daisies that I got the other day and then I stuck some little rose buds on on there in the middle and then I've just done this uh, now I thought I were buying the seam binding I've obviously bought the wrong stuff it was only cheap so I'm not bothered I think I paid like 20p for a half a metre or something but you know like the seam binding and people like they crunch it up and it looks all like creased and a bit raggedy that's what I thought I were buying but I've wet it and everything and I haven't done it so maybe maybe I've got poly cotton instead of cotton I don't know um, so I just put that, tied it in a bow and then I've just glued it to the back in a crisscross like that um, and put another, I think this is from Betsy Doodle, put another little flower on the back um, so that it can, and I did cut the antenna off the original butterfly, I'll show you which butterflies they were, they were these, uh, where are we, there like that with a little body and a little clip. And I cut the wings off with my wire cutters and I cut the um, antenna off and then obviously glued it all back on again, <laughs> as you do. Cut it in bits and then glue it back on again. So there we go, that's my shabby chic one. There is a domino in there, you can just see it. I really like that, I think that's my favourite. I'm not over keen on my vintage one, but that was my first, the vintage one was my first one and I really wanted to put a dangle and I just wanted to try the, putting the loops on with the wires. Um, and I don't think it's too bad. Uh, but I do prefer, I do prefer the um, shabby sheet one. So there you go, those are my entries. So I hope you like them Ruth. Um, this is a bit of a shaky video. Let me do a, see if I can do a close-up for you. So there you go. They, they're very, very small. Very small. Um, but they've done the job, haven't they? So I didn't need to go out and buy any, did I? <laughs> um, I did look in charity shops and stuff for all last week. And could I find any? No. Um, and I just didn't have like £10 to go and buy a set of dominoes. So there you go. I quite like that one. I'm keeping that actually. <laughs> so there you go, Ruth. Um, I hope you like those, and um, that's my entry. So don't forget, ladies, pop along to Ruth Bear and subscribe and have a go at a challenge. There's still time left. I think it runs out. Did she say the twenty eighth of February? I'm sure she said twenty eighth of February, which is a good while. So uh, and then obviously go along to Kazakins as well because I think she's fairly new and, and I can't remember if she's got a lot of subscribers I can't remember but go and show us some love and some support I, I just, like I said she'll start putting some videos out and the stuff that she makes really are some it she's very very good very talented and puts things together really well so there you go right next what am I on next my next project is I am in the middle of um, a swap that I'm doing with Crafty Moo One, that's Amanda Nash. So that's my next project, and um, I've got um, some more pink cushions to make as well. So um, thanks for watching, ladies, and I'll see you soon. Take care.